I, I think CM Punk shit the bed. I think everybody sees, you know, when C, when Tony brought Tony Khan brought CM Punk into AEW, he still had that mystique, the pipe bomb mystique. He was this character that stood up to the man and you know, walked away. And you know, there's a there's a there's a rebel or rebellious quality in that character that I think the average American admires. So yeah. Punk had this mystique and this this still had his fan base, and Tony Khan was able to take advantage of that and over a sh very short period of time that mystique began to just dissipate it was like letting the air out of the balloon a little bit more each and every week and you look at you know cm punk came in and you know great ratings and then literally the next week started in a free fall back down to pre-punk levels hmm. you look at where aew is in terms of week-to-week -week ratings which is the only thing we can have to measure that's public because the financial information is all private. We don't really hear anything about the real financial information. We just get yeah. the top line stuff, but you know, ratings are the, 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 is the data that we have that we can go, Oh, okay. This is where this product is going. Flatline. Shortly after CM Punk got there, flatline to pre punk levels. And I think that a lot of that has to do with people came. They were excited because of the aura and the mystique they saw and they went, eh, not so much. A little bit, but eh, nothing special. And then for Punk to conduct himself in the manner in which he did, I think left a bad taste in not only the fans' mouths, but why would anybody want to hire a guy that's willing to live publicly disparage the guy that's writing him a check every week.